Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Gaming with Jessica. Today, we are playing Space Engineers. I have been playing this game a lot, and I absolutely love it. It is a sandbox style game where you just get to build any type of spaceship, space station uh, that you can imagine. Pretty much if you can imagine it, you can probably create it in this game. It is absolutely amazing. I am playing currently in survival mode. This is a brand new start. Uh, we have just pretty much been given our first assignment. We have been sent out here to uh, Intrepid Mining Company's uh, mining prospect out here. They have discovered a bunch of asteroids in the area that are worth several trillion dollars in resources. And it's pretty much our job to um, establish a, a proper mining base for Intrepid Mining Company, so that's our job. We don't really know what they have for, in store for us out here. Uh, all we know is we're supposed to arrive at Prospect Alpha 1 station and pretty much just start getting things going. Uh, they did tell us, however, before we left that there is, you know, enough for us to get started. I, I don't know what that means. I don't know if there's a ship here, I don't know if there's a base here. It's still really small, but you can see that, you know, there's a couple asteroids around here. We'll have to go explore those at some point. Okay, oh, okay, I can see the platform now. Let's go come in for a nice, smooth landing. We're gonna in turn on our inertial dampeners, get ourselves under manual control here. Um, okay, it looks like there's some kind of ship on the platform there. And not much else. Boy, they really didn't give us a whole lot to start out with. Let's go ahead and land. Let's switch to third person view and just come down on this landing port here. And nice and easy. Turn off our power and hop out. Uh, we're going to want to conserve power. I'm not really sure how much power this station has. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so there is a gravity generator, a medical room. Use the medical room to heal, because over time our energy will start to, to go down. There's our nuclear reactor, which, oh boy, does not have much uranium in it at all. This, this station is really lacking any power. We'll check out our refinery. Is there anything in our refinery? No, there's not. And there's nothing in the assembler. However, um, it seems that Intrepid was nice enough to give us a pretty hefty looking mining ship. I do have to say this looks pretty sexy. Boy. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like we can probably get some work done with that. Um, I think we should probably go ahead and start getting some uranium now, because this station is going to be in a seriously, uh, seriously bad way if we don't. Uh, just that energy was critical there, I'm not sure if that was accurate. However, we do seem to have 139 days of fuel in this ship. Not very good visibility out of this ship, is there? We'll probably have to be controlling this in third person mode. Which is fine. It's kind of hard to mine in first person mode. Anyways, um, let's see, what kind of contraptions does this ship have? It seems to have landing gear. Let's go ahead and make sure we get this set up on a hotkey there. And let's make sure our landing gear is set properly. Yeah, it does appear that it is. Top out and make sure our landing gear functions properly. Let's hit one. And you can see there it goes. Perfect. Yep. Alright. Let's try to find some uranium. Oh no! We haven't had this ship for five minutes and we've already gone destroying it. And we have absolutely no parts to repair that with. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Did not get very far. We're gonna have to just, like, find a place in this asteroid and just start drilling into it. Because you can see here there's uranium- well, let's go over to where the uranium was. There's uranium, there's iron, there's magnesium here, there's silver here. It's definitely pretty promising. So far, at least. Yeah, let's just go ahead and 
start our way in. Wait, is that the uranium over there? That little black spot. Aha! That is uranium. Okay. Perfect. We'll just start drilling here. Oops. I think we need to... Okay, yeah, we have those on too. Okay, yeah. Let's just start drilling in. And I apologize if that's really, really loud. I will definitely have to turn that down. But yeah, we're just trying to get a little bit of uranium here so our ship... Our Sorry, our station platform doesn't completely run out. Because um, that platform is the only thing that we have that has like any ability to refine materials or to construct other materials. Because uh, it has a refinery and an assembler. So the refinery is used to refine raw materials. There's all kinds of them in this game. And uh, the assembler takes those raw materials and turns it into good stuff. So let's go ahead and hop out. Let's grab our uranium. I know we just pretty much did it for just a second, but that's all we really needed at this point. Uh, yeah, there it is. And there's some more. Just go ahead and grab all that. I want to get this stuff refined and in that reactor before we get too far ahead of ourselves, and I feel like that was probably a decent amount to start with. Go ahead and pop that in there. You can see it automatically just starts refining itself. And I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to adjust the audio levels just a little bit. Just so it's just so it's not too loud for you guys. That way you can hear me properly and all of that. You should always be able to hear me. Never the game, right? No. <laughs> you should be able to hear both. And let's see, how is this doing? Yeah, it's, you can see it's, it's pretty much doing it, doing its job pretty quickly. We'll just go ahead and toss this on in there. Actually, I want to see, uh, if we get into this station here, it'll tell us how long we have until the power's out. Yeah, so 23 minutes. <laughs> the station only has 23 minutes to survive. Luckily, we are refining uranium so that will increase. Just make sure we're filling this up, because 23 minutes, well, that's about the length of an episode, isn't it? <laughs> that can go by pretty quickly. And I think while that's going, actually I want to make sure I ex extended our our time out good enough. Okay, we got about 33 minutes now, that's a little bit better. 20 minutes is a little scary. Because here's the thing, if we run out of uranium in the, uh, this platform, in our little ships and stuff, if we completely run out of uranium, then we actually have no way to charge our suit. And after we run out of uranium, it'll only be a couple of minutes before we're completely dead. So if this ship here doesn't have uranium in it, it's not going to be able to mine anymore. However, we do have the ability to use a hand drill. So in the event that this ship does fail, or we lose this ship, I mean we've already lost one part of it, there's no reason why we couldn't lose more parts of it. Um, so yeah, if this ship does fail, we can go straight into mining by hand. However, Intrepid was nice enough to give us this ship to kind of give us a, a helping hand, so let's, I hope, I hope we don't lose it. It looks, it looks expensive. I'm pretty sure they'd be upset with me if I destroyed this ship. Okay, so I think we need to go ahead and start getting some other resources, mostly iron. We're going to need to collect a lot, a lot, a lot of iron over the next, uh, over the course of this, uh, this season, basically, because we need to build a fully functioning mining base. That was priority that was given to us that is not the that's not the only thing that we have to do but that's what they want us to focus on now so they haven't really given us the full set of instructions yet because they want us to focus on just uh, making sure we get the mining base functioning so with that said I'm just going to pick a spot here and start drilling into it Let's see how well this ship can drill 
through this asteroid. It seems to be okay. It's kind of slow. However, it is getting the job done. There's no question about it. However, I do feel like the lights, those lights that are sticking up, um, they're going to get busted off of there. I can already tell. But that's okay. They only cost... Um, I think it's just like one construction component to replace them. So no big deal. You can see we've already started to make ourselves a nice little cave. This is going to get much, much bigger soon. Just get a little bit more before we pull out and see what our total amount was that we've been able to gather. <laughs> okay. Is the whole ship in there? It's almost, oh, the whole ship is almost inside here. Let's just go a little bit further. And as you can see, I'm being really gentle with it. I'm not, like, trying to force this thing in here. Because um, I really don't want to lose this ship. If we do, like I said, we have to hand mine everything. And that's not going to be fun at all. So once we get this... I think it's all the way in there now. Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull the ship out. And let's let's see what we've been able to gather within that short period of time there. Let's gently pull her out. Gently, gently. Okay. Yeah, it's quite the hole. That didn't take very long either. So I'm pretty excited about that. It shows promise. Definitely shows promise. Let's go ahead and park her on over here. Okay, and the reason I'm not parking it on the, the deck there is, well, you saw earlier what happened. And there's thrusters, a lot of thrusters on the bottom of the ship, and uh, thrusters do damage to, to light armor blocks. So, uh, actually, I just want to hop back in inside here, and I just want to take a look at our inventories. Take a look at our storage inventories. You can see we've got 3k, 3k, 2k. So, yeah, I mean, we've, we've definitely got quite a bit of iron from that run. And also, I just want to point out some key features on this ship that I've noticed since we've uh, started operating it. It has ejectors on the side, um, which means that the whole ship is connected by conveyors. All of its cargo containers, all of its drills, everything like that, and they're all connected to those ejectors. So eventually, what we'll be able to do is build a collection platform maybe like right in this area here uh, just beneath the ship so it can just hover over the collection platform and just pump out the materials rather than having us have to uh, do this by hand but for now because we well Intrepid while they were nice enough to give us this, this awesome ship they didn't really give us any type of platform <laughs> that was fit for it so we're gonna have to build that ourselves Let's go ahead and grab as much of the materials, or the resources rather, as we can before our inventory becomes full. And I think we can get a little bit more, yeah, okay. And we'll fly over here to our refinery, which is still working on the uranium, which is good. Um, we'll go ahead and throw that in as well. And as soon as it's done, well now that's interesting. Normally. It would not start mining or refining the 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 iron until it was done with the uranium. Uh, it seems to have switched. I'm not too sure about that one. Okay, interesting. That's the first time I've seen that happen. All right, that's fine though. Let's go ahead and and throw this throw this in our reactor. Oh, and I do want to mention, this game still is in 
alpha development. Uh, they release a new update uh, generally every week, generally every Thursday. However, that's not always the case, and sometimes some updates actually are terrible, and they would have been better off not updating. Uh, as you can see there, I just activated that landing pad, just kind of locked down that that small ship that we've been sent here on, just so it doesn't go flying off or whatever. I don't really trust that little landing gear that it has. So now you can see we have three hours of fuel time on this station, and we didn't really even have to do a whole lot of work. So three hours before, and that's three hours with the refinery running. That's not with the assembler running, however, um, we are going to put into production some steel plates, because now we have iron ingots. Let's go ahead and we're gonna need a lot, so let's get at least a hundred for now. Well, we're gonna need more than a hundred. We're gonna need about two hundred. I'm not a hundred percent sure that we can produce that many, but we, just, we do have more iron in our containers. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll get the stone as well. Stone is refined into gravel, and the gravel is then used in uh, uh, to make reactor components. So if we want to, you know, build more ships or upgrade the power on this platform, we will need reactor components. Okay, let's come over here and just grab the rest of it. Uh, yeah, we still have to make a couple of trips. That's why it's gonna be really really nice once we're able to set up a collection bay. We won't even have to do any of this back and forth stuff. It'll just be completely automatic. That'll be really really cool. I think that's all of it. Let's hide the empties. Oh, there we go. Got them all. Okay. Excellent. Oh, running, running into the wall there. Not, not very good. Okay. Great. So that'll continue. Uh, what's, what's refining right now? Is it the iron or is it the uranium? Not actually sure. No, nothing seems to be. Oh, it is the iron still that's ref that's refining. That is so strange. They must have given iron some kind of priority because normally it would go by whichever one is in this position here. But that's not what it's doing. Okay, not too sure. They change things all the time. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna want to do is, well, build some kind of protection. I mean, this is really quite out in the open. Um, anybody could just kind of come by and start messing with our stuff when you don't want that at all. Or if there happened to be, you know, some kind of asteroid shower want some kind of protection here and this is really really quite out in the open so I think that's gonna do it for this episode in the next episode when we come back we will go ahead and start getting some kind of uh, shelter going here and we'll start laying that out planning out how we're gonna do it we'll have to be mining for new resources in the in the meantime and adding on to our refining and assembly uh, production capabilities so there's a lot of exciting stuff coming we'll be doing a lot of really exciting things as well so uh, if you guys like the video do me a huge favor and hit the like button on this video also if you want to see more just subscribe and uh, you will get all of the notifications on your YouTube homepage as, you know, when my new videos are up and all that stuff. And you won't have to, you know, keep searching for me every time you want to find a video. And I do plan to upload videos very regularly. So 
yeah, subscribe and hit the like button. It's awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time.